All right, folks, buckle up because it's time for a harsh dose of reality when it comes to relationships. Listen closely because this is the raw, unfiltered truth that most people are too afraid to acknowledge. Far too many men these days are completely and utterly dependent on their girlfriends and wives. They're so pathetically attached, so hopelessly hooked, that they can't even function for a single day without their woman by their side. These poor bastards will never have the guts to admit it, but deep down they know they're addicted. And let me tell you something, being that reliant on your partner, that's not love, that's not healthy attraction. That's a goddamn disease eating away at your soul. So how do men end up so whipped, so tragically enslaved to their women? Well, it's a gradual process, but the root cause is always the same. They start deluding themselves into believing that this particular girl is their soulmate, their destiny. Every guy has that fantasy of finding the one, that perfect woman who will magically make all their worries disappear and give them a feeling of complete security. So when he starts developing feelings for a girl, she gains his trust during that initial honeymoon period, and he falls for the illusion that she's the only one he will ever need. But then, reality comes crashing down like a ton of bricks. Surprise, surprise, turns out she's just another flawed human being who ends up treating him like yesterday's garbage. A man who's emotionally dependent on his girl is incapable of standing up for himself properly in the relationship. No matter how hard he tries, he'll always feel too guilty to put his own needs and desires first, even when he knows deep in his gut that it's the right thing to do for his own well-being. You want to know what's truly ironic? Women often have zero problem putting themselves first and stepping over us men to get what they want. If a woman wants something badly enough, she doesn't give a flying fuck about your feelings because all she cares about is her own gratification. But a lot of men simply can't bring themselves to do the same. Because we've been brainwashed since childhood to believe that we must always be gentle and accommodating with women. We swallowed the bullshit fairy tale that treating a woman like a delicate princess is the only way to win her love and affection. Well, I'm here to shatter that illusion and give you a much-needed reality check. The truth is the exact fucking opposite. I've seen it play out a million times. The guys who neglect their girlfriends and treat them like an afterthought are the ones who are valued and respected, while the poor saps who worship the ground she walks on get treated like disposable doormats. But it's time to wake up and smell the coffee, gentlemen. It's time to realize that the vast majority of your beliefs about women are not only holding you back, but actively sabotaging your relationships and destroying any semblance of a healthy power dynamic. If you want a woman to respect you, to play by your rules and truly value you as a man, you need to be ruthless. You need to be cold-blooded and calculating in your interactions with her. This is especially difficult for men who have a kind and generous nature. They can't fathom the idea of putting their own interests above their girlfriends. They can't bring themselves to raise their voice at her when she disrespects them and they don't have the spine to say no to her unreasonable demands. Far too many men tolerate a never-ending stream of disrespect and mistreatment from their women. They watch helplessly as she demonstrates again and again that she has no qualms about ripping their heart out and tap dancing on their emotions. But these same men are terrified of giving her a taste of her own medicine because they've pedestalized her to such an unhealthy degree that they can't bear the thought of losing her. They weren't raised to inflict pain on others, especially not on a woman they care about. The very idea of upsetting their girlfriend fills them with crippling anxiety because they've convinced themselves that the fallout will be catastrophic and irreparable. But I'm here to tell you that if you want to maintain any shred of dignity and self-respect in your relationship, you need to start treating your woman exactly the way she treats you. If she disrespects you and you let it slide without any consequences, she'll continue to walk all over you like a human doormat for the rest of your days together. And if she consistently neglects you, takes you for granted, and doesn't show you the basic respect and appreciation that you deserve as the most important man in her life, then you need to seriously ask yourself, why the fuck you're still wasting your time and energy on this toxic relationship? The moment you reveal your weaknesses and insecurities to a woman, she will mercilessly exploit them at every turn. In a healthy, functional relationship, a woman should never abandon or neglect her man just because he's going through a rough patch. 
But in today's dysfunctional dating landscape, women are more likely to drag you down and sabotage your progress than they are to motivate you to be the best version of yourself. They operate under the twisted assumption that you are obligated to be an unshakable pillar of strength at all times, and if you show even a momentary crack in your armor, they'll immediately start shopping around for your replacement. The cold hard truth is that 90% of modern women have no interest in encouraging or supporting the men in their lives to reach their full potential, even though every man deeply craves a loyal, ride-or-die woman who will have his back through thick and thin. So why is it that so many women these days can't be bothered to nurture and motivate the men they claim to love? The answer is as clear as day. They're too fucking self-absorbed and narcissistic to think about anyone other than themselves. They've bought into the toxic myth that relationships should be all about their wants, their needs, their happiness, and fuck everyone else. But to be fair, it's not just the women who are to blame here. Modern men are just as guilty of this selfish, me-first mentality. We've all lost sight of what it means to be a true partner, to lift each other up, to support each other's growth, to have each other's backs when the going gets tough. People have become so emotionally stunted, so utterly self-centered, that they can't even comprehend the concept of mutual care and sacrifice anymore. When a woman faces challenges or hardships in a relationship, her first instinct is to cut and run rather than dig deep and find the strength to stand by her man. Why? Because nurturing a relationship through difficult times takes effort. It takes patience. It takes resilience. And there's no guarantee that her partner will ever be able to fulfill her impossibly high expectations. If a woman is even entertaining the idea of leaving you, even if it's just a passing thought, rest assured that she will leave the moment she decides that you're no longer serving her needs. This is why it's absolutely critical that you never allow yourself to become too emotionally attached or dependent on a woman, no matter how passionate or committed the relationship may seem on the surface. Your job is to create an environment where she can't help but recognize and appreciate your value, to cultivate her addiction to the way you make her feel, so that she's always craving her next hit of your attention and affection. Now, this is no easy task, especially in today's hypergamous dating market where even the most average woman has a constant stream of thirsty simps blowing up her DMs and inflating her ego. But there are steps you can take to make a woman hooked on your presence and terrified of ever losing you. There's a simple but profound psychological trick that most men never even think to employ in their relationships. But when used correctly, it has the power to keep a woman permanently in chase mode, always hungry for more of what you have to offer. The secret lies in understanding female nature and working with it rather than against it. Women are wired to desire what they can't have, to crave what they cannot fully possess. They're naturally drawn to men who maintain an aura of mystery and unattainability, men who are always just slightly out of reach. So here's the key to unlocking a woman's insatiable desire for you. Always be unavailable. Now this doesn't mean completely ignoring her or playing childish mind games. The goal is not to push her away, but rather to inspire a deep longing and appreciation for your time and attention. Imagine for a moment that you're dating a woman who is absolutely obsessed with chocolate. She can't get enough of the stuff. It's her guilty pleasure, her sinful indulgence. One day, you promise to buy her a box of the most expensive, decadent French chocolate money can buy. Her eyes light up with excitement and anticipation as she counts down the days until she can finally savor this heavenly treat. When the day finally arrives, you invite her over to your place to present her with the chocolate. She walks through the door, her heart racing with excitement, her mouth watering at the thought of the rich, velvety goodness that awaits her. You pull out the beautifully wrapped box and hold it tantalizingly in front of her face, letting her drink in the intoxicating aroma. Just as she reaches out to grab it, you snap the box shut and whisk it away, telling her that she'll have to wait a little longer to indulge her craving. How do you think she'll react in that moment? Will she shrug her shoulders and say, oh, well, maybe next time? Fuck no. She'll be frustrated, annoyed, maybe even a little angry that you've denied her the one thing she wants most in the world. But you calmly explain that good things come to those who wait, and that if she can just be patient for a little while longer, she'll be rewarded with the most mind-blowing chocolate experience of her life. And so the game begins. 
Day after day, you continue to dangle the promise of the chocolate in front of her, always keeping it just out of reach. You can see the hunger growing in her eyes, the desperate longing for just one taste of the forbidden fruit. Finally, after weeks of delicious torture, you decide to give her a small sample, a single, perfect square of the most luxurious chocolate she's ever tasted. The flavor explodes on her tongue like a supernova, sending shockwaves of pure ecstasy through every nerve ending in her body. In that moment, she's hooked, addicted to the intense sensory pleasure that only you can provide. She begs and pleads for more, but you remain firm in your resolve. You will not give her what she wants, at least not all at once. Instead, you parcel out tiny morsels of chocolate at random intervals, always keeping her on the edge of her seat always leaving her wanting more. This, gentlemen, is how you need to approach your interactions with women. You should strive to be the human equivalent of that elusive, tantalizing chocolate, something rare and valuable that she can't help but crave with every fiber of her being. But here's the key. You can never give her the whole candy bar all at once. You need to maintain an element of scarcity to keep her in a constant state of longing and desire. This is the only way to avoid falling into the trap of becoming too available, too eager to please, too willing to bend over backwards just to keep her happy. The moment you start giving her everything she wants, whenever she wants it, is the moment you lose your power and your appeal as a man. She needs to understand that your time, your attention, your affection are precious resources that must be earned through her continued investment and loyalty. And make no mistake. This principle applies to every aspect of your relationship, not just in the bedroom. Whether you're doling out compliments, gifts, or your undivided attention, the key is to always leave her wanting more. Give her just enough to keep her hooked, but never so much that she starts taking you for granted. Now I know what you're thinking. But isn't this manipulative? Isn't this just playing games? And to that I say, welcome to the fucking jungle, my friend. The dating world is a ruthless Machiavellian battleground where the strong survive and the weak get eaten alive. If you're not willing to do what it takes to gain and maintain a competitive edge, then you might as well resign yourself to a life of lonely mediocrity. But here's the beautiful truth. Once you master the art of being selectively unavailable, once you learn to harness the power of scarcity and mystery, you'll find that women can't help but be drawn to you like moths to a flame. They'll obsess over you. They'll chase you. They'll do whatever it takes to win your approval and keep you in their lives. And the best part? You won't have to resort to cheap tricks or mind games to keep them interested. You'll simply be embodying the authentic, high-value man that you were always meant to be. The kind of man that women can't help but find irresistible. So if you want to take your dating life to the next level... If you want to experience the raw, addictive thrill of being pursued by the women you desire, then start putting these principles into practice today. Cultivate an air of mystery and unattainability, and watch as women fall over themselves to win your attention and affection. But be warned, this is not a path for the faint of heart. It takes courage. It takes discipline. It takes a willingness to step outside your comfort zone and embrace a new paradigm of masculinity. You'll have to confront your deepest fears and insecurities to shatter the limiting beliefs and behaviors that have been holding you back for far too long. But if you're ready to take that leap, if you're ready to unleash the ultimate version of yourself and experience the kind of raw, passionate, all-consuming love that most men only dream about, then there's no time to waste. Start implementing these strategies today and watch as your dating life undergoes a radical transformation virtually overnight. Remember, the key to success with women is not to chase them, but to inspire them to chase you. And the only way to do that is by becoming the kind of man who is perpetually just out of reach, the kind of man who knows his own worth and refuses to settle for anything less than the best. So go forth and conquer, gentlemen. Embrace your inner alpha, your inner chocolate square, and watch as the women of the world fall at your feet in worship and adoration. The path to true love and fulfillment is waiting for you. All you have to do is reach out and grab it. And always remember, the key to a woman's heart is not through grand gestures or empty promises, but through the artful dance of push and pull of giving and taking away. 
Master this delicate balance, and you'll have unlocked the secret to everlasting love and devotion. Thanks for listening, and never forget. The power to change your life is within you. All you have to do is reach out and seize it with both hands. Go forth and conquer, my friends. The world is yours for the taking.